Over the past weekend I had the chance to try 2CT7 for the first time. Based on other reports I'd read, and not wanting to be disappointed, I chose to take 30 mg. The powder was white, semi-crystalline and clumpy. It had virtually no odor. I ate it in a gel cap on an empty stomach. Three friends had also tried 2CT7 two days previously. They had each taken 25 mg, and boosted with 8 mg about 210 after taking the first dose, since not much was happening. This turned out to be a bad idea, because the first 25 mg started to take effect about 5 minutes after they took the supplement. So I knew that I had a long time to wait before I started to get real effects. I figured that 30 mg would be strong, but I've tripped a lot of times, and I wanted to, and felt prepared to, experience this compound at full strength. 2005, T plus 0 hundred, eat gel cap. 2105, T plus 1 o'clock, there is some slight persistence of vision. If I sweep my eyes across a scene, light sources have slight trails. If I close my eyes, the image I was seeing remains longer than usual. There is no distortion, no colors, nothing else except persistence. 22.05, T plus 2 o'clock, very little change. Increasing body sensations, some discomfort. I've been sitting around waiting for something to happen and not much has. 22.20, T plus 2.15, okay. Some Christmas lights about 15 feet away are starting to waver. 22.30, T plus 2.25, starting to notice time dilation. The last 10 minutes took longer than I thought. I'm also feeling nauseous. There is a body load that I haven't felt before. It's surprisingly irritating right now because I want to be paying attention to the psychedelic effects and I'm bothered by my body. 2240, T plus 235, oh man, here come the visuals. Sudden nausea drives me to the bathroom. Three images of the toilet resolve into one image and I manage to aim properly. I get the vomiting over with, while the toilet seat vibrates in front of me. 2245, T plus 240, these visuals are wicked. Quadruple and quintuple images vibrating across my field of view, changing in color. Swirling fractal patterns emanating from objects. Light sources spawn off dots that fly around the room as I move my eyes. 2250, T plus 245, back to the bathroom. Dry heaves. 2255, T plus 250, absolutely insane visuals. Unlike anything I've ever seen before. Far beyond 2CB, LSD, mushrooms. These visuals are not tryptamine visuals, like LSD and mushroom distortions of perspective, distortions of objects, etc. They are very 2CB-like. Sort of like a multimedia light show. It's as if you took the two-dimensional image that gets put on my retina and did all kinds of crazy shit to it, whereas with the tryptamines it's more like you're screwing with the way your brain sees objects, after the image gets processed. These two CT7 visuals are all about multiple images, overlaid patterns, trails and persistence. 2300, T plus 255. I close my eyes and chill for a bit. I feel myself start to melt into the couch and I feel my body become delocalized as I start to fly around the room. This is something I've felt on 2CB2. After a couple minutes of this I realize I can't remember where I was sitting. I very slowly start to open my eyes, and as little bits of the room start to appear, my brain starts inventing the rest of the image around the parts one can actually see. I see corridors, lights, mountains, clouds, and endless other scenes. I slowly open my eyes more and more and eventually all the wild images collect and morph back into an image of the real room, still overlaid with awesome colors and patterns. The next hour or so was mostly a blur, literally and figuratively. I was blown away by the visuals and still bothered by my body. My mental state was mostly normal, like with 2CB. I still thought mostly straight. I didn't have a chance to listen to much music, because I was too interested in the visuals. 0 hundred, T plus 355. The group I'm with decides to leave the house to go to visit another bunch of people. I seriously question my ability to go outside. Not because I can't deal from a mental perspective but simply because I can't see what the hell is in front of my face. If I actually see something clearly, in half a second it's gone. 0.05, T plus 4 o'clock, we're in the car and start driving. No, I am not driving. I look at the road ahead and realize that if I were forced to drive in this state, it would be much cleaner and more efficient for me to just throw myself off a cliff. Cars appear and disappear in front of me. Another road appears that I never saw before. 
Trying to drive like this would be guaranteed suicide. 010, T plus 405, we arrive. For the first time in a long time, I feel unqualified to lead our group into the building we're entering. Someone else leads the way, but I'm still super nervous and want to get out of public view. 015, T plus 410, ah. We're now in private again. Visuals are still cascading all over everything. My body is feeling a bit better, but still loaded. I glance at someone's screensaver which usually looks very nice on psychedelics. Right now, it's boring compared to what I'm seeing. 030, T plus 425, nice closed eye visuals too. The background is surprisingly light. Reddish, bluish, yellow. On top of that are incredibly intricate swirling fractal patterns, sometimes resolving into three dimensions. Flashes of light appear and melt away in the corners of my vision. These are all brighter than most other CEVs I've seen. But the OEVs get my attention back again. 2 o'clock, T plus 555. I think the visuals are starting to weaken a bit. My body feels mostly better. I still haven't noticed any mindfuck, and not much audio change. But I know that the 2CT7 has total and complete control of all of my mind and body. 220, T plus 615. Definitely less visuals now. 240, T plus 635. Visuals are about 10% of what they were initially. What's truly amazing is that even though they're so weak, they're still strong enough that they'd give any other psychedelic serious competition. Now I can see people's faces distort if I look at them, and I can see some perspective changes. Smoke a joint with some people. 255, T plus 650, slight enhancement from the pot. It was cheap pot, anyway. 405, T plus 8 o'clock, now we're at the 8 hour point. Those weakened visuals are still there, declining slowly. I take three bong hits of extremely high grade marijuana. 415, T plus 810. Oh my god, that pot is amazing. It's brought out all kinds of new visuals. I'm listening to some ambient music with a soothing drum beat in the background, and with each beat I see an image of the room snap up in front of me, then begin to slide down. Not melt or morph, just slide. Another beat comes along and it snaps up again. The image itself looks very two dimensional but I can see every object on the desk in front of me totally clearly. As I sweep my eyes across the desk, even if I don't look directly at anything in particular, I take it all in and see everything there. In one half second sweep of my eyes I can see the monitor, computer, keyboard, bong, lighter, candle, bottle of Tylenol, drinking glasses, etc. all in total and complete clarity. This kind of perception of a scene is new to me and is very cool. This is a full 8 hours after I took the drug, and I'm still getting sweet visuals. 5.30, T plus 9.25, I decide to go back home. This is because there is finally someone among the 25 people I've been hanging out with who is sober enough to drive a car. I am exhausted. Usually towards the end of a trip I'll think about whether there are any other drugs I'd like to do, like maybe snorting some DPT, or taking some GHB. There is no way I'd take anything else right now. I've been so completely saturated with this psychedelic experience that I need time to recover and couldn't possibly imagine taking anything else. I haven't felt this way in a long, long time. 6 o'clock, T plus 9.55. I help a friend snort some DPT. I relax on the couch, eyes closed, somewhat uncomfortable and unable to sleep. Minor closed eye visuals, minor open eye visuals. My body is screaming, give me rest. 7.05, T plus 11 o'clock. I make a serious effort to go to sleep. For a second I consider taking GHB to help it along, but realize that I just can't do that to myself. 7.35, T plus 11.30, I finally get to sleep. I woke up the next day feeling groggy and tired. The following night I slept for about 14 hours, though this is probably because I had been getting over being sick, and I hadn't been getting enough sleep either. It lasted a very long time. 2CT7 will give you a solid 4 hours of hard tripping. The upswing is very fast, as is the downswing. The tail hours are very pleasant, assuming you're not super tired like I was. If I hadn't gone to sleep at the 11.30 point, I probably would have tripped for a couple hours more. So, to summarize, this drug rocked my world. I have not been this impressed by any drug's visuals since my first few psychedelic experiences. They are seriously an order of magnitude stronger than anything I've ever seen before. I am anxious to take it again not just because of the visual experience, 
but because I want to get a better idea of the kind of body load it imposes, so I can figure out how to deal with it. I think my body load was higher than my friends who took it. Then again, my visuals were also far beyond anyone else who took it. Maybe I'm hypersensitive to 2 CT7, and 30 mg was high for me. Next time, I'm going to take less. And that's not something you often hear me say. This is a killer drug. Highly recommended.